Hey kids, this activity is called Fit the Numbers. Uh, what you're going to have to do is complete the story using the numbers that are in this sign over here. And the story has to make measurement sense. So you have to use the numbers here in the correct place so that when reading it, it actually makes the, the measurements actually make sense. So <clears throat> this one says two statues are in the middle of a square platform that is blank feet on each side. Well, it's hard to say, right? It doesn't really say anything about if it's a huge platform or a small platform. It feels like 400 would be a lot. That would be a really, really big platform. Um, it seems like four might not be that big, but um, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Let's keep reading. The perimeter of the platform is blank feet. Oh. oh, okay, so let's use some clues here. It's a square platform, right? And we all know that a square has equal sides, right? Four equal sides to be exact. So if it asks for how many feet it is on each side, and then it asks for the perimeter, what I'm looking for up here is two numbers where one is four times the size or the amount of the other, right? Because any perimeter of a square is going to be four times its length. So can you find up here two numbers where one of them is four times bigger than the other? So I think I can rule out seven, because I know seven times four is not a nice even number. I think it's 28. No 28 there. Same thing with four. I know four times four is 16. That's not there. Um, 200 and 400 is close, but that's double. That's not four times the size. How about the other two, 20 and 80? 20 times four, ooh, that's 80. Look at that. So the two, two statues in the middle of a square platform, so that means that they are 20 feet on each side. Right? That's a zero, in case you can't tell. Um, and so then the perimeter would be 20 times 4, which is 80. I'm going to cross these out so that I don't get tempted to use them again. Okay. The statue of a man is blank feet tall. Um, I can probably rule out, well, I would... Probably rule out 200 and 400. That seems really big. Seven and four? Um, I mean, seven's closer to a man's height, but I'm not 100% sure yet. It's made of bronze and weighs blank pounds. So it's probably heavy, 200 or 400. The statue of a boy is blank feet tall. And, oh, the statue of a man and the statue of a boy. Okay. So, the statue of a man is blank feet tall and it's made out of bronze. So, again, I don't think that it's going to be 200 or 400 feet tall. It's got to be 7 or 4. And if one's a man and the other one's a boy, I think the man has got to be 7 feet tall. And if it's bronze, it's a bronze statue. So then, let's skip that. Let's go, let's go to here. The statue of a boy, if the man is 7 feet tall... It would make sense that the boy is four feet tall, a little bit shorter, right? And that leaves 200 or 400. And if both of them, let's see, it's made of bronze and weighs blank pounds, weighs blank pounds. Well, the man's bigger, so he must be 400 pounds. It's a big fella. And the boy weighs 200 pounds. Aha, yes. Okay, so I used all of my numbers up here. It doesn't make measurement sense. Two statues are in the middle of a square platform that is 20 feet on each side. The perimeter of the platform is 80 feet. The statue of a man is 7 feet tall. It's made of bronze and weighs 400 pounds. The statue of a boy is 4 feet tall and weighs 200 pounds. That sounds good to me. So, again, you're going to use the numbers on the sign. Fill them in so that it makes the most sense. Good luck.